Hey Virgo, we're going to do a tea leaf reading today. Take what you need, leave the rest. Spirit, give me a message for the earthly Virgos. This tea leaf reading. The first one we have is fire, strong emotion, passionate, love or hate. Whew. Like they say, there's a thin line between love and hate, Virgos. Okay. All right, Virgos. Tea leaf reading for you today. And I'm off work today, so I have about three open slots for reading. So if you're interested in the same day reading, the information to contact me is below. Okay, same day reading. Advice from a friend. Okay, you got advice from a friend about a fiery, passionate relationship. Like I said, this could be a relationship where you could be really into it with this person, loving this person, but it can also be a toxic connection. All right. Tea leaf reading. You got a friend or a family member who's trying to give you the advice or you're trying to give advice to them as well. Okay. And uh, you'll be taken care of in a difficult time. So this could be your energy. You know, somebody's taking care of you here. Uh, a friend who's very, very loyal to you is telling you, you need to kick that zero out of your motherfucking house. You need to keep this person away from you because they're toxic, they're evil, they're narcissistic, and you could do better, okay? And we have here, honor and respect will come to you. This person is not respecting you, Virgo, or they did not respect you in the past, okay? You got somebody here telling you you're ride or die or somebody in your family in your family telling you that, listen, you too, you too good to be in a relationship with, this, with somebody like this, okay? This person is not good enough for you. They're very, very toxic. Look how they treat you. They're very, very disloyal. They're very abusive. We got the gavel. Got to involve the law. Probably have to call the police. Have to get a restraining order or what? Okay. So somebody's not doing anything right. And they're just trying to do what's best for you. Or you're trying to do what's best for them, Virgo. Okay. This person has got to go. This person needs to, <laughs> they need to go somewhere. Okay. Tea leaf reading for the earthy Virgo. Okay. So we got two here. Uh, success. You will find success once you kick this person out of your life, out of your house, or whatever. Okay. You got to move on. We have carriage. Okay. A journey, either physical or mental. This person was very, very abusive physically and mentally to you. You'll find much more success with this person away from you out of your life. This person has been holding you back from moving forward. They've probably been abusive. They've probably been trying to keep you away from your family and friends. This, this could also be past energy. Like they say, you learn. You, when you know better, you do better. And we have a journey. It's a short journey. It doesn't take much to get this person out of your life. If you left before this person probably came, or you probably came back to this person, or that person came and got you and took you back home with them. All right. It didn't last long before you went back. Hidden secrets can harm you. You can't keep this a secret. People know that you are being abused physically and mentally, emotionally. They know something's right. They may, may not know exactly what's going on, but they can see. Okay. You can't hide everything. What's done in the dark will come out in the light. You better believe that. If this could be for you, Virgo, I could be for somebody else. You know, you know the story. All right. Danger, especially in money matters. Okay. Especially in money matters. You're probably taking the brunt of this. You're probably paying all the bills. Okay. And this is in this your bills are in threat of getting maybe cut off, like the gas lights and car note or something you can't pay because this person isn't adding on this person probably takes your money as well and they're probably not working dealings or relationships with a woman they're probably dealing with another woman or another male take it how it resonates with you okay probably dealing with somebody else probably taking money from her you know too just very very narcissistic hidden secrets they have they're hitting hiding secrets about another individual in their life with this person because of the money or they left you to be with somebody else told you that that was just a flame but they still with that bitch all right still with that motherfucking hoe take how it resonates okay still with that tramp that hood rat okay that home wrecking wench all right you'll be receiving or giving or giving a precious gift Ooh, i heard a baby for somebody somebody's going to gift you something it's going to be very very precious it could be a piece of jewelry Okay, someone will gossip about all your secrets. You got to be careful who you tell your business to, okay? Because they'll throw it back up in your face. 
Okay, that could be May. That could be a name. Maybe you know somebody by the name of May. Maybe it's already kicked off in May. Okay, something kicked off in May. You found out about somebody's secret. Okay, they told you they was going out of town with the boys or with the girls. You found out they was at the Holiday Inn downtown fucking some bitch or sleeping with another man or whatever. Having an affair with somebody else and it wasn't you. Tea leaf reading for the earth is very good. This is a timeless message for you. What do you need to know? Whew, we got the well. Family wishes come true. Some family wishes are coming true. Just heard something about a trip to Disney World, Disneyland. I heard Disney. Maybe finally you're able to go someplace where you always wanted to go with the kids for the summer. Pay attention to your work. Something's going on at work as well. Something huge. We have here celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Enjoy your job. If you don't enjoy it, find something that you enjoy to do. Make money off of that. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Maybe a new job coming through because we have here sitting at the desk. Something unexpected is going to take place in the workplace for you. Maybe a promotion. Maybe they're going to put you in a higher level position, a higher paying level. That's going to allow you to travel, to save money, or you can do some things you've never done when it comes to traveling with your kids because your wishes are coming true with your family. Your well will never run dry, Virgo. Your well will, will never run dry. Okay. And we have here, you will be shown the way. If you've been asking spirit for some sort of sign, don't need to. You'll be shown the way. There's light at the end of your tunnel. Follow, listen, follow the light. That's all I can say. Okay. Message for the earthy Virgo tea leaf reading here. I don't know, I'm hearing poltergeist. Something about poltergeist. Maybe you're seeing things. Maybe things are moving in your house that shouldn't be moving. Okay. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Okay. There will be a, a don't gamble if, you know, that to, you do, what, do what you want to do, but don't gamble away your money. Okay. Um, there's something that you're doing, maybe overspending or whatever. Try not to, you know. Like they say, don't go to the store hungry. You're going to pick up some shit that you probably never would have picked up had you eaten before you got there. Okay. And we have here, this one says, take care. You may lose your material wealth. Okay. But this one, plenty of material things. So hold on to what you got, Virgo. You know, I know that you like pretty things. I know you like nice things. I know you're possibly very, very materialistic and that's not in a negative way. You just like the finer things in life. And I get that. I totally understand that. Don't, don't, don't let your mouth write a, don't I always say this wrong. Don't let your ass write a check. Don't let your mouth write a check. Your ass can't cash. Don't overspend. Don't be too overindulgent. You know, if you like haagen -Dazs, I'm a haagen -Dazs person. I'd rather have haagen -Dazs than some 99 cent ice cream. That's just me. Treat yourself. Okay. But if you can't afford it, put it back. You get it? It's okay to indulge, but if you know you're paying for something that you can't afford to pay for, leave it there. Because you don't want to lose it. You don't want it to, you don't want it. Don't live beyond your means, okay? Because we like good things. We just do. We have recognition and reward for your merit. There's definitely going to be rewards your way in the workplace, okay? You're going to be recognized for something. It's like the fruit of your labor. You never, it's like you may be broke financially, but you're never broke. You always have what you need, okay? The fruits of your labor, you're getting paid whether you have a job or not. There's always going to be some food on your table. There's always going to be wine in your glass. It's always going to be hogging dots in your fridge. You're always going to have exactly what you need, all right? It may not, you may not have 100%, but you're going to be, the spirit is going to give you what spirit thinks that you need when you need it, okay? Because if he gave you everything at once, you're not going to know how to handle it. And we have here an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Somebody you're dealing with who you should leave the hell alone because that's nuts. Arrogant, very boastful. You know who this person is. They talk shit all the damn time. You don't know if they're coming or going. They don't know if they're coming or going either. Leave this fool alone. Financial gain usually coming from something you did not, that you did in the past. So there's something coming back around to you. That you don't see coming. This that's going to give you financial gain. I'm also hearing clarity, financial clarity for you. You don't see it coming. Something that you forgot about is coming back around to you. We have romance. Romance is in the air. Somebody likes you, Virgo. May give you some flowers. 
and it's you're not even going to see it coming this is some sort of financial opportunity. It could be a job that you apply for over a year ago. You went to the interview, never got it. They're going to call you back. Can you start? When can you start? Are you still interested? Beware of self-illusion. Don't fool yourself about a person, place, or thing. Okay? Let's get a final message here for you, Virgo. Please leave reading. What does Virgo need to know right now? Ooh, spinning, spinning cards. All right. I tell you, these cards are so difficult to shuffle. So we have here V, victory in some endeavor. You're going to find victory in whatever it is that you do. Never give up because you, you realize that you may fall, but you get right back up again and everything is A-OK. -okay. And we have here, you have great passion. Whatever you have great passion in, Virgo, that's where you can get paid from. Not just your regular nine to five, but there's some kind of gift that God gave you. It's time to put it to good use so you can get some money, so you can get paid. All right. I hope this message resonates. Talk to you again later. But don't forget, I have three slots open for same day readings. If you're interested, you know how to contact me. The information is in the description section. All right. Get them done before I get too tired because when I'm done, I'm done. All right.